Remembering that learning analytics is, is a process, it's a journey, it's not necessarily something that has an end date. That's something to consider when allocating resources in the future as well. So as, as an institution is doing things like budget um, allocations, thinking of, of hiring um, on additional staff or how to reallocate staff that they've, they've already got, those are things to consider is that this is something that will need to be continuously maintained and continuously thought of because it is a strategy that the institution has taken on, not just a project for one year. Resource allocation can become sort of a tricky topic. Uh, with institutions. More often than not, institutions don't have a lot of excess resources. So the best way to implement the learning analytics solution, both technically and non-technically, um, is to utilize the resources that they've already got in the best way possible. Yeah, when we talk to institutions, we often find that um, they're, they're engaged in a number of projects. Um, if, if the focus is on learning analytics, that, that becomes something extra. Whereas we find a number of institutions are already building data warehouses, they're already visualising some of that data for module leaders and such like. So if that resource that's already engaged in projects can be brought together, uh, we see learning analytics more as underpinning a number of other institutional projects rather than uh, something necessarily on its own. Definitely someone who has access to the VLE, so a VLE expert, um, someone who has experience extracting data, um, whether that be someone who um, is at the more um, higher technical perspective versus maybe perhaps an analyst who can um, help determine what type of data should be extracted, that would definitely um, be useful. Um, one thing that I think institutions should understand is that you don't have to go out and hire a data scientist. Um, dealing with some of the vendors that JISC has partnered with, that's one of the um, specialties that they bring to the table. And from a technical perspective, when we start talking about data quality, um, what does this data mean? What are these type of predictors predicting? Um, having a data scientist on the calls and available um, is, is very helpful and that's something that JISC partners with some of the vendors to do. I think that institutions need to have a very open mind when looking at some of the products that are available at the beginning of a pilot or onboarding. A lot of institutions sometimes think that they have to invest a lot of time and money up front to get the right product available at the very beginning of the pilot or implementation. And that's, that's not necessarily the case and that's not necessarily what um, I would recommend. It's really important to keep a very open mind to um, take a look that from a piloting perspective, you're, you're viewing the data. Um, you're viewing what's important to the institution, what would be helpful, what is not helpful. Um, and then taking that information and and um, then investing in a process, in a um, workflow, in a product that could be most helpful to the implementation. The pilot is very um, focused upon learning what will be useful for our institution. And it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to do some trial and error. It's okay to look at some of the data and say, I don't really like how that's displayed. What if we took it and we displayed it this way? That helps drive requirements to determine the final product for that institution and the student's success.